But it only takes one spark on dry grass or leaves or pine needles to start a wildfire. Even live trees and brush are dry enough to burn. Team 12's Colleen Sakura is looking at how state crews are preparing as we wait on our monsoon moisture. We're told it's fuels on top of fuels. We're talking about plants like these that sprung up thanks to the wet weather that we had in the spring and winter, but now they've dried up. Starting the weekend through now from Coronado National Forest to Kearney. And it's just, you know, elevated winds, dry conditions and low relative humidities. State fire crews have been busy. And that combination just creates very high fire danger. Tiffany DeVillo with the Arizona Department of Forestry and Fire Management says it's a later start. We are still, you know, down uh, where we were last year with the amount of acres burned. The wet winter really helped us out. I mean, it's one of those double edged swords. We pull it pulled us out of the drought situation, really helped us out where we needed it the most and across all of Arizona. But then it just increased the fuel loading in southern Arizona and across the Sonoran Desert. Fuels like these. Now we just have fuel on top of fuel. Some of the parts of the state, um, you know, that grass is uh, waist to chest high. So again, you know, that's all brown now. It used to be very pretty and green in the spring, and now that's just dried out. The Department of Forestry bringing down crews from northern Arizona because of the risk in southern Arizona. The fire activity is not as active. Uh, in the northern portion of the state, as we're seeing in, you know, the Phoenix area, the outlying areas and down in the Tucson area. While monsoon season is here, the moisture hasn't arrived yet. You know, we could see fire activity increase and remain steady until we really get into the heart of our monsoon season. Asking for caution. Be mindful um, of your surroundings. Please don't burn. Please don't use any tools that may spark. Knowing how quickly things can turn. Next week is one of the busier weeks for firefighters. It's one of the most dangerous weeks for wildland firefighting. So we are still in that critical time frame. There are different fire restrictions across different parts of the state. You can find the latest information by going to wildlandfire.az.gov. Colleen Sikora, 12 News.